Refrigerated versus Deskin Air Dryers. What kind of compressed air dryer do you need for your business? Not sure which one to choose? The Deskin versus Refrigerated Air Dryer for your compressed air system? In this video, I will go over the difference between the two to see which is the better choice for you and your system. Hey there, I'm Christopher at Fluid Air Dynamics. Today I'll be going over why it is important to have an air compressor dryer and what the difference is between the Deskin Air Dryer and the Refrigerated Air Dryers are so you know what to put into your facility. Why do you need an air compressor dryer for your system? A compressed air dryer removes the moisture from the air that comes out of the compressor. The air in the atmosphere contains water vapor. The amount of water that the air can hold depends on both the temperature and the pressure. As air is compressed, the higher pressure will cause excess moisture to fall out of the air as liquid condensation at the discharge of the air compressor. Additional moisture remains in the air stream as water vapor. Moisture in compressed air can cause problems in the compressed air system, pneumatic equipment, and manufacturing processes. Liquid will tend to fall out of compressed air as it moves through the piping system and cools. Condensation in compressed air pipes and air power tools can lead to corrosion and scale or wash away lubrication in production equipment. If piping is exposed to cold temperatures, water and control lines can freeze, causing blockages or damaging the lines. The air dryer removes excess moisture from the air and reduces the dew point, or the temperature at which condensation will appear. Dew point is often used as a measurement of the moisture content in compressed air. The lower the dew point, the drier the air is. Desk and air dryers. How they work is by removing water vapor from the air using absorption. An absorptive material tracks water molecules and binds them to the surface of the material. Desiccant dryers typically use activated alumina or molecular sieve desiccants. Most desiccant air dryers have two towers filled with desiccant beads to allow for continual operation. The system alternates between the two, allowing one to dry the compressed air while the other is regenerating the desiccant material. These air dryers are more expensive, both in their initial capital investment and in operating and maintenance costs. However, they are capable of lowering the dew point of compressed air to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or even minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Desiccant compressed air dryers are also essential if your applications run in freezing conditions. Refrigerated dryers are not capable of reducing the dew point low enough to avoid condensation freezing when operating at very low temperatures. A desiccant dryer uses energy in compressed air to regenerate spent desiccant materials. They may use between 5 and 18% of your compressed air supply in the regeneration process, depending on the type of controls. There are three types of desk and air dryers, which vary in the regeneration methods, energy costs, and compressed air use. A heatless desiccant dryer simply uses up to 18% of the rated capacity of the dryer to purge back through the saturated tower for the regeneration process. A heated desiccant dryer heats a lower flow of purge air to regenerate the desiccant material. A blower purge dryer uses very little or no compressed air in the regeneration process, but instead uses heat and a blower. It takes more energy to operate, but preserves the compressed air supply. Refrigerated air dryers. Refrigerated compressed air dryers work by cooling the air. They work much like your refrigerator or freezer, using compressor coils filled with a refrigerant to chill the air. As the air cools, water vapor condenses into liquid water, which is then drained off and disposed of. The liquid is collected in a water trap and expelled via an automatic drain. The dry, compressed air is usually reheated to room temperature within the dryer before it is used. Refrigerated dryers are the most commonly used air dryers in the manufacturing and services industries. They lower the dew point to about 38 degrees Fahrenheit which is more than adequate for powering pneumatic tools and other applications that require air with no visible moisture. If your application only requires dry air without any visible moisture present, this air dryer will work for you. Compared to desk and air dryers, refrigerated air dryers tend to have lower capital investment, lower operating and maintenance costs, and higher dew points, which is more moisture left in the air. Non-cycling refrigerated air dryers. Non-cycling air dryers allow the refrigeration circuit to run continually. They control their temperature by use of a hot gas bypass valve and cycling of the evaporator fan to maintain a tight temperature range. These dryers are the most cost effective and are typically very reliable while maintaining a fairly consistent dew point average of 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Correction factors can be found on the dryer literature allowing you to adjust the dryer size for your specific conditions. 
Refrigerated dryers are typically oversized for summer conditions. Cycling refrigerated air dryers. A cycling refrigerated air dryer reduces energy by cycling on and off in response to demand. These dryers cost a bit more up front, but are much more energy efficient over the long run. Maintenance costs tend to be a bit higher than for non-cycling refrigerated dryers due to their increased complexity. There are three types of cycling refrigerated compressed air dryers. Thermal mass cycling refrigerated dryers use a thermal storage medium to store cooling capacity that can be used when the dryer is operating at less than full load. When the thermal mass reaches a predetermined temperature, it's switched off to save energy. Digital scroll cycling refrigerated dryers cycle the refrigeration compressor on and off in response to demand. The system is either operating at full capacity or no capacity. Variable speed drive refrigerated air dryers adjust the motor speed for the refrigeration compressor and condenser fan in response to real-time demand. So what is the difference between refrigerated and desk and air dryers? For most manufacturers, a simple refrigerated compressed air dryer will be okay unless your application requires ultra dry air or is operating in below freezing temperatures it is hard to justify the added capital investment and operating costs of a desk and dryer if you would like to learn more about the different compressed air dryers visit our website and go to the link in the comments or give us a call we'll help you evaluate your compressed air usage dew point requirements and potential energy savings to choose the right air dryer for your application